uh, trips to uh, Israel and Zimbabwe. Tell us how those <coughs> have affected you and your walk with God. Well, um, I, I went to Zimbabwe with World Vision and, and just went to kind of get an, uh, a better world view and just what was going on. Um, you hear all the stories, but until you've been there and seen it and done it, you don't really actually – it's hard to put your mind in it and really understand it. And so I just wanted to be educated and kind of – widen my world view and so they they took me out there for a couple weeks and and then the israel thing was a uh was with a uh kind of independent documentary that was about bethlehem and and palestine and how the war has been going on for years and they were just they're tr they're trying to create a peace um thing over there that they're kind of trying to get israel and palestine to stop being at war and and so i got to kind of go and be a part of that and it was that was crazy it was interesting and um saw a lot of soldiers and um, riots and all that kind of stuff and it was a little scary <laughs> but, yeah visiting Israel did it bring home to you the truth of the gospel and saying you know where Jesus walked where the miracles happen yeah it was a little surreal you know you'd be reading the Bible in the morning and then you're like wait I'm like where this is talking about you know it was it was a little surreal in that aspect um, I, I mean I, I did all the the stuff you know I went to all the sites and some of it was like I, some of it I loved I thought it was very um, holy and, and beautiful and in other parts I feel like we've kind of ma materialized it and turned it into like a marketing thing but you know it was, it was good to be there and, and, and see it you know okay we've got a few questions here from the media uh, from guys speak out they asked the question what advice would you give to teen boys <laughs> um, wow stay away from girls <laughs> no I don't know um, <clears throat> but really you know like Find your heart in God and, and be, be a man before you start chasing ladies. Because a lot of guys don't know how to chase ladies, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what difference do you hope to make at Easterfest this year? Um, you know, I, I'm a journey writer. I, I write from my experience with God. And, and so when I, I, I guess my hope is that my music can help other people along on their journey and just basically draw people into Christ. And and so that's I, I, that's my hope where I go anywhere, you know. I just hope that somehow my music can really impact people, and, and I believe God uses it. And so, you know, I, I'm just a man, you know. It's not really on my shoulders. I, I feel I, I try my best and, and, and love God and, and hope that God will use me. Okay, now how do you go being on the road? Uh it must be stressful, must be uh, so busy. How do you uh, have your time with God? How do you get to have your devotions with God when you're so busy? Well, you just got to make time. You know, you, uh, you're, some mornings you're waking up super early. Some mornings, you, you know, you're catching up on sleep. Um, you know, you're on airplanes. And, and so you just, you have to learn to be intentional with your faith and, and um, pray. Like prayer for me is, is probably the most powerful thing for my, my walk because that's, you know, like really sometimes that's the only thing you have time for. You don't have time to get away. Um, so you just kind of have to get in your head with God and, and just really trust that he, he, he's guarding us and my heart and whatnot. So. Okay, now we're getting really deep. This is like deep, deep question, okay? So uh, and I know it's a bit early, but we'll see how you go with this one. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite jelly bean? <laughs> yeah. um, maybe the popcorn ones. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Those are jelly bellies. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. good, that's good. Yeah. And uh, what inspires you to write your music? Um, well, I mean, I, it's definitely just journey. I mean, the easy answer is God, you know. Um, I mean, definitely my songs are very vertical and very aimed at the heart of God. Um, but I just, I'm a life writer. I like to, le to, to write about my experiences and the people that I meet and, the, you know, like just just life as it unfolds and, and whatnot. But um, there's no one answer to what inspires a song. You know, anything can inspire a song. You know, I could, I could write a song about Easter Fest, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, now, uh, you know, I'm very aware that, you know, people are going to watch this on the internet, watch <laughs> it on TV, on the, hear it on the radio. There might be people listening that uh, aren't Christians. Mm. They might be thinking, okay, all these people are gathering at this Easter Fest event. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, they might realize, okay, the death and resurrection of Jesus, that's what we celebrate at Easter. But mm -hmm. uh, for those who aren't Christians, would you speak to them if they want to become a Christian? What, what, what would they do? How would they connect with God? Hmm. Well, um, that's, a, that's a loaded question, man. 
Um, I just, I know when I wasn't a believer, I think for me coming into it, I just, I, I approached it with an honest heart and I just asked a lot of questions and um, I didn't want to believe something just because I was told to believe it. I really wanted to, I, I wanted to, if I was going to believe in God, I, I really wanted to believe it. I didn't want to be one of those people that just followed um, or claim they followed and, and, and didn't. So I, I just, I think asking genuine questions and really seeking and, and, you know, the scriptures say that if we ask, you know, the door and, and, and knock and, um, and seek, you know, that the door will be opened and we will find and, and you know, and God will answer us. And, and I fully believe that because it's, it's been true in my life. Um, so I just, I would encourage anybody that doesn't know God or is questioning and just keep questioning and, and keep digging and, and you can't go wrong with uh digging you know you have nothing to lose so yeah that's good okay um you know i've heard all, you know your live albums your recorded albums uh you've got your new clo one closer uh, just come out uh what are your plans for the future have you got any other mission trips lined up at any other countries you're visiting <laughs> um you know i this record just came out a month ago so we're still kind of kind of feeling it out and getting ready and 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 seeing where that goes i'm, I'm always writing and um, I kind of, kind of dabbling with the idea of, kind of a worship project, but it wouldn't be a Sean McDonald thing. It might be something different. But um, I'm always my mind's always going. So it, I don't know. It's, yeah. Every now and then, um, you come across a Christian artist who's got a unique sound. You know, there's a lot of great bands who are all quite similar. You, I would class you as someone who's unique mm. in the Christian music scene. There are a few who are similar, um, and I would say you would be one of Christian music's best prospects to cross over uh, into the secular mainstream music scene. Is that part of your vision? Uh, have you had much success in the mainstream? Um, you know, I, I don't know if it is my vision. I, I, I honestly, I just kind of want to go where God will take me. Um, I, you know, I, I had some attention when, before I signed with a Christian label from some secular labels and they just wanted to turn me into a pop guy and I just, um, it wasn't my heart at the time and, and, and it still isn't, so I just, you know, like if, if God allows it and, and I write the right songs that for whatever reason decide to cross over, you know, I, I'll take that road. But I, it's not something I'm seeking. And and um, I just, I, I wouldn't ever want to be confined to not be able to be real to who I am. And, and, and so, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. So you don't want to be the next Justin Bieber? <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm kind of a fan. I'm not going to lie. But yeah? Yeah, okay. yeah. Come on. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, d I don't know. I, I, a friend dragged me to Never Say Never, and I kind of became a fan. I'm just, he's a cute kid, you know. He's good, too. He's talented. So, yeah, you guys all hate me now. You're like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> We've got any true believers in the house here? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, three. All right, that's a good start. Okay. <laughs> well, um, we love you, man. We love your Thanks. songwriting. We love how real you are. Mm. Uh, we love your heart. You know, I mean, you really do worship God with a lot of your songs, yeah. and... Uh, uh, it's just great to see someone who's like King David, a psalmist who, who writes uh, awesome songs, vertical songs, like you said, about your journey. Um, been through ups and downs in your life, but we all have. Uh, and uh, we just love seeing, uh, particularly in Australia, we love seeing Christian artists who are real, uh, who are the real deal. And I uh, can really uh, pick that up in your spirit today, man. So thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you give a big hand for Sean McDonald. <laughs> history.